before you change anything, let's make sure we. Live. Take a moment and like the Facebook page. Subscribe to the YouTube page and hit the bell. Text Larry Reed Live to 33222. That's the words Larry Reed Live with no spaces to 33222 and get notified when we go live. Become a member of the Patreon. Log on to LarryReadLive.com, click Patreon, sign up, download the Patreon app, and turn on your notifications. Get connected today. This platform discusses any and all information that has been made known to the public in any way. If the information creates convo that needs to be had, then it could become a feature story on the LRL platform. Now, remember, I am not a journalist. I am a commentator. And all of the information that is always shared here, whether it's a post in the YouTube community or Facebook or wherever, tweet it out. You need to assume it is alleged. But the commentary is always real. All right, let's go. Welcome to Larry Re Live. Let Naughty Dot and everybody know that we are on. And tonight, we are waiting right now for Leandria Johnson. We are going to have an interview with her. My name is Larry D. Reed, and you are locked into Larry Live, which is your absolute most favorite digital entertainment news and talk show. And if it happens in the public, then we will talk about it here in the public. Click like and click share. And remember to let everybody know that we are on. How can you help our show on tonight? You can help our show by clicking, click, click, excuse me, by clicking like and hitting share right now. <laughs> let me go ahead and do my part because I didn't even share the thing when I was doing what I was doing. All right. Follow us on all social media at Larry Reed Live on IG, at Larry Reed Live on Facebook, at Larry Reed Live on YouTube, ever darn where, type in Larry Reed Live and make sure you're following us there. All right, I've just texted a whole lot of you to let you know that we are ready to go forth with tonight's show and we are waiting for our guests to show up on the phone line. 
Now let me go ahead and tell y'all this. You need to text Larry Reed live with no spaces to 33222 so I can send you a text before I go live. So take a moment right now and just no spaces now. Larry Reed live to this phone number 33222. And you will always receive a text before I go live here. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you that are patrons. How do I become a patron? You go to LarryLive.com and you click Patreon. And when you become a patron, you are in an exclusive subscriber group. And we basically have our own show separate from what is public. Normally, I do an after show, and I'm probably going to do an after show on tonight as I'm eating my salad after the show. And I'm going to tell you everything that happened behind the scene, because with every show, especially when they're guests, there's always a whole lot of things that go on behind the scene. And so I'm going to let you know what went on behind the scene as relates to this show. And I want you to be a part of it. So go to Patreon right now. Click and become a patron. And when you do that, you're going to get exclusive benefits and shows, conversations inside. I'm going to tell you this. We have had people to grow their portfolio because of tips with the stock market. We've had people that done preventive care concerning COVID. Everybody else got it. They did not get it. There are things that are shared in Patreon that can empower and educate you. Aside from the stuff that's behind the scene that you want to know about. So you need to become a part of Patreon. And right now, Patreon has allowed me to allow you to sign up for a year. And we're shifting out of Patreon in the first quarter of next year. Because of the great team that I have and a great man named Joseph Jarrell, I am able to build my own subscription base. It's already built. Patrons are already in there practicing, working out the kinks. It's like our own Facebook where we can share our own stuff. So we're going to be pulling out there. But if you sign up tonight to Patreon and you do so for a year, at that particular donation rate, you'll keep that forever and yours will never change. But if you try to sign up after I take it to the next level and the subscription base is going to be a whole nother thing at the first of the year, that's going to be at a whole different rate. So you better lock in right now. And I want to say thank you to all of you that when you watch this show, you laugh and you, you cry and you get educated, you stop by uh, Cash App and Venmo. All right, she's already on now, so we're about to get started. You start by Cash App, you start by Venmo, and then you go over there to Zelle. You send a donation over there. And then you go over there and you through your phone and you text to the phone number 404-800-4530. You text the word give and you'll be able to drop us something really quick. And those of you that go to the website, Larry Live, and click donate. Thank you so very much. And even those that send me stuff all the time, you know, we have viewers that are young and some that are way up in their 80s and they watch LRL and send me stuff. Some of them fuss me out, send, send me all kind of stuff all the time. And somebody sent me a whole lot of masks and she fine on the front of this mask. She's just as fine as she can be. I wonder if she married. And this is what, and then she sent one for my children. She said, this is for your baby girl number one. This is for your baby girl number two. And I put the mask upstairs, but her name is Josette Golette. Josette, J-O-S-E-T-T-E at Josette Couture, J-O-S-E-T-T-E-C-O-U-T-R-T-U-R-E.com. Y'all can type that in there. She sent me that, so I'm going to give you a free shout out because you remember not just the show, but my children too. You know I love my baby girls. Thank you so very much. And got something for their baby mama too. And they're nice. Some, some nights, I think Samako had one, got one of that. He ain't going to get it. Kendall got one. Heifer Ida got one of that. He ain't going to get his. You know, but God, thank you for sending theirs anyway, but I'm going to keep it, and they shall not never see it. Thank you so much, Josette Galette. Josette at, you can email her at Josette, J-O-S-E-T-T-E, at josettecouture.com. Thank you so much for mailing that to 780 Marashko Drive, Northeast 244224, Atlanta, Georgia 30324. Nice time that have the Converdern Station with Lee Andrea Johnson. I want you guys to help me welcome this great 
voice and talent onto the show. Let me tell you this. You are going to hear a conversation that is going to be candid, that's going to be open. It's a no judgment zone. There are 1.2 thousand you already watching us on, on Facebook. And then the 1.3 of you already tuned in now on YouTube. But go ahead and hit like so all of our audience can can see all 200,000 of you from Facebook and from YouTube combined. If y'all hit like and you hit share, everybody can come in on this conversation I have on the line. And ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you gospel Grammy Stella Every Darn Thing Award winning Leandria Johnson. How are you, Leandria? good Larry what's going on okay look it's it's so good to uh, be able to speak with you and be able to talk with you we've had all kinds of problems I said I don't know what happened to the system today's a whole nother problem than last week we got the new one the old problem fits now a new one come up and I just believe it's because this is going to be a, a great conversation Lee Andrew I want to say this to you to get this conversation started like this that you are absolutely positively one of the most talented females black females on the face of the earth when i think about gospel music i think about walter hawkins i think about james cleveland then it comes down to the to the barrett sisters then the clark and pace sisters then kim burrell people who change vocalization in gospel and then comes leandria johnson i want you to know that that we celebrate your gift here Wow, I appreciate it, Larry. I really, really do. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah. Okay, so this is the conversation that I want to have. If, if we have a little feedback, y'all, y'all just got to work with us because we're trying to make this thing happen. Because of this stuff been crazy. All right. When we were introduced to you, we were introduced to you through... Sunday best. Mm-hmm. You came on Sunday best. You had on a yellow tank top. People are seeing the picture now. You had on a yellow tank top, a nice um, haircut. I don't look like you had any makeup on. It was your 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 good chocolate skin, and you stood there in front of three gospel powerhouses, and you sang in socks and sandals. And when you walked in, I remember this episode. I was sitting right there. I'm pretty sure those of you watching at home, you remember this episode. When I saw you, I knew. I said, this here is going to sing. And we were introduced wow. to you. And you... Larry, Larry, that was no nice haircut now. No, no, don't be trying to make jokes. <laughs> you know that wasn't no... It was a nice haircut. It doesn't need to be brushed <laughs> on the side and combed on the top. No, it needed to be more than that, but you know, it's okay. I get it. <laughs> I get it. I call that my chicken little look. <laughs> okay. Okay, so yeah, you you sang, um, you got through, you won, and then the next time that we saw you, we heard your music, you were signed with Beyonce's dad, and you're doing a whole lot of great things and wonderful things. Um, I, I can't remember everything that happened as it relates to that, but... It, no matter what happened, things went well. Then the next time we saw you, I had just moved to Atlanta. I was already talking online. A lot of people don't know this. I want you guys to know this today. The reason Larry Reed Live launched is because of Leandria Johnson. And I don't know if I ever told you that, Lily. But the reason oh. that I launched is because when I went on Periscope, I, my um, the mother of my children had called me and said, Leandria's online and she's fussing. It's Thanksgiving. She's upset. And because of what happened, everybody, every preacher's online killing her and telling us we shouldn't have nothing to do with her. And so I didn't even see the video. And I went live on Periscope immediately. 20,000 people came in because I titled it, This is Our Gift and We Will Not Throw Her Away. And you were on the... Um, this, I think it was on Periscope, but maybe it was some, some live service and you were drinking Patron. Tell us what was happening that day. Um, pretty much, you know, at that moment, you know, I was just in my house 
and um, we were celebrating. Uh, you said it was Thanksgiving. I think it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Shoot, that's, yeah, and I was I was home and you know had some Patron in my cup, you know, and uh, really actually at that time I think I probably had to have been on cup number three or four maybe, mm. and I decided to go live on Periscope. You know, just to show people, you know, this is what I do um, in the comfort of my own home, you know, family, you know, friends and everything. But you know how you try to invite people in your space and then something can go left immediately. Mm-hmm. And that's what happened. It just went left. And um, somebody, you know, trying to get back at a comment or make make a, you know, a comment about a comment. So then I kind of went left and then there you have it and everybody just chimed in and that's that's how it went so it went left real quick <laughs> so let me ask you this Lily. so what happened with, so you were at the house and somebody well, it wasn't it was it, i'm sorry it wasn't thanksgiving I, I think it was labor day or something oh, or memorial okay. day or something you, like that. you're right because i had just moved to atlanta and i moved to atlanta on august the 15th i hadn't been here a month so and so but i moved here you know because um you know I thought I already told you about that, but I moved here to do something in entertainment. I was already on a radio show and I, I was talking online already, but that event, and that was in September, that's what birthed Larry Live. So you were there at the house and somebody got on your nerves and then you just started talking. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I was looking at a comment, I believe. And then um, I think that's how it all started. And then, you know, I guess, you know, I think I said a few curse words or something, and that's what made me just kind of go from there. You know, I guess people were shocked that, you know, people who say they love God curse. You know, it was a a shock, I guess, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I do do remember... Uh Uh-oh, excuse me. Uh, I do do recall that, and and I do remember that. Uh, and that's the thing that I want, I, I discern. When I went live, I'm like, you can tell that somebody done got on this girl last nerve. And she's going off saying, I pay $4,000 for, for the rent here. I take care of my children. I pay the people around me. And ain't nobody going to be coming out their face, da 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 And that was clear to me. And I did not think that that moment, in that one moment, that you should have been viewed in, in a way, um, to where people were talking about we need to counsel Leandria and not have nothing to do with her and things of that nature. And I do remember Prophet Brian Corn, Donna McClurkin, um, a whole lot of different people coming out and saying a whole lot of negative stuff. And so I had I, I didn't even know you at the time, but I just knew mm-hmm. that it won't this won't how we were supposed to be handling you and process. I even called Brian Corn, fussed at him. He called into the show, and then him and my assistant got into a fuss, you know. But it was really um, horrendous. And did you what did what was your experience at that time? What were you hear experience on the back end from the industry and from church people? Um, at the time, um, I can't say I was shocked to hear their response, you know. But you know, being on a whole another type, different level. You know, I've dealt with that growing up, you know. Um, but at the moment, of course, I wasn't drinking or cursing and everything. I was a child, you know. So I saw a lot of things. I saw, you know, pastors and preachers, you know, tell us what we can't do, but then turn around and see everything that they were doing that they told us not to. So that was, you know, you know, shocking then at the moment. But when I went with as an adult, you know, from that Periscope video and, Everybody was saying what they were saying. They want to counsel me and they want to, you know what I'm saying, let me go and they don't want me coming to their church and all this kind of stuff. I was just, I was like, oh, wow. I mean, you know, it took me back to a place where, you know, it's funny how, you know, you can take right hand fellowship today. You can walk in with a mini skirt on, smell like weed, smell like cigarettes. You have to actually be drunk. Give your life over to God, you know. First, right hand fellowship, everything is cool. You know, but you come back next week with that same mini skirt on, you know, and you smell like the same thing, alcohol, weed, or whatever, however, you know, then that's when things start to change a little bit. Then that's when people start telling you, well, this is what you need to wear, and this is what this is how you need to be, and try not to come to church, you know, like this, that, and that. Okay, you get it, you're still paying tithes, however, donation is, 
building fund this and everything. Then you come back the third week, you know. But you come back the third week and have only many shirts. And then you start looking at you a little strange, you know. But that's that's where you mess up at, you know. And like everybody that said we need to counsel her, we don't want her this and that. Nobody never asked me. Nobody never called me and said, so why? You know, or what's going on? Or what made you go there? You know, nobody did that. You know, but I mean, I'm used to that. Though. I'm used to nobody. Why this and why not that? You know, so I just, you know, I carried on. You know, I carried on because, but at the end of the day, you know, for everybody who had things to say, I mean, I don't know what they're doing. You know, I don't know if, you know, they got something that they're dealing with, you know, and they will, they may never, never, ever let it surface, you know, but um, I don't know. I just... I, I don't know, Larry, to be honest. I just kept moving. I had to keep moving. I had to keep moving for others that are out there that are going through the same thing or went through the same thing that I went through, you know, and there are other, other people that went through the same thing that I went through that are no longer in the church, don't want to step foot back in the church because of that very that very reason right there. It's one thing to be exposed, and it's one thing to, you know, expose yourself. So that's two different categories. So, But, um... And, and you would say that you you expose yourself. It was, and you would say that you expose yourself is not a matter of somebody um, putting your business out there. You were just very being very transparent about the pain, the frustration that you were feeling at the time, and how you were processing it by by speaking the words of profanity and and drinking. And see, now this is the thing that I like the, about you because you you came back out and began to say some things and. I think you end up seeing my video. We end up meeting a, a few times and hanging out sometimes and just speaking and talking. And I was able to learn um, your spirit. Was it that um, transparency that caused you to begin the ministry that you began here in Atlanta? What was the name of that ministry? Uh, you talking about the name of my church? Yeah. At the time? Yeah. Um, it was the ITC. Uh, ministries is imperfect people changing abbreviated for IPC was abbreviated for imperfect people changing I see I, I remember that um, the IPC and your and your husband Forrest and uh, shout out to Forrest because whenever I, I do services here in Atlanta for I ain't done it in some years but Forrest is the organist that I go to um, imperfect people changing imperfect people changing isn't that what being a follower of Jesus Christ or being in relationship with God is all about? Uh, yes, pretty much. I mean, if, you know, they give the stories about, you know, how Jesus, you know, he didn't hang around, you know, the the church. He hung around, you know, the, the whoremongers, how they call it back in the day or whatever, you know, the Jezebels, you know, the crooks, the alcoholics, the, you know, the drug addicts, you know, he hung around them, you know, and um, it's definitely what it's all about. I mean, I'm not perfect. Nobody on this earth is perfect. You know, we are here uh, born into a religion, you know, those who went to church before us went to church before them, and the rules were before us. It was the same rules, you know, without, without forefathers, you know, so at the end of the day, um, what I feel like needs to be, you know, who we run to, we can't really run to unless we, you know, be set down or unless we be, you know, quiet or silence and all that kind of stuff. I mean, to me, that's, that's, that ain't the way, you know, to me, that's not the way. I didn't go to uh, Ian LeVanzant because the church told me to, you know, I went because I needed help at the moment. What I was doing to myself, not the enemy, but to myself, was causing harm, not only to my body, but to my family, those who were around me, were around me, you know, so I went help to get help because I decided to do that. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So um, at the end of the day, everybody has their own rules in church. You know, you got every, all types of, you know, um, uh, what's the word, um, a group of, of, a body of Christ, um, believers, uh, no, it's another word, start with a D. Yeah, imperfect um, people change. Denominations, denominations. Oh, okay, 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 you know, okay, okay. Um, there are different type of denominations, yeah, different yeah. type of religions. You know what I'm saying? It's all of, 
it all depends on who you grew up with and who you grew around, you know. So everybody's uh, uh, rules are not the same, you know. So, but, um, and, you know, I see people say he did, you know, Jesus sat with him, but he didn't sin with him. But see, the thing about it is sin is disobedience. Sin is not drinking alcohol. Sin is not uh, smoking. You know what I'm saying? Sin is disobedience. That's what it is. You know, so no, he was not disobedient. He was actually obedient because he sat with them. You know, so I just seen one comment. I just wanted to, you know, make that known to whoever just said that. But anyway, um, but yeah, so I hope that answered your question right. Yeah, it did. And, and I wanted to highlight your ministry. I mean, and I think that's the thing that makes your ministry so transparent. I want to talk about something. I've always said this. I've always said this before we talk about the preachers of Atlanta, because when we met, that was around the time of the preachers of Atlanta and uh, Corey, I think in, that, in his name, Corey, the policeman. Yeah, Corey, he was on the show. And, and um, oh, yeah. Uh-huh. I, I can't remember. The, what's the white guy's name? What's the white guy's name? The who? The white man. Judah. Yeah, Judah. Judah. Very, very, Judah. very yeah, nice Judah. guy. And I'm never. And then um, mm-hmm. Kim. I, I, Kim is a great guy, but I don't know K- Canton. What is it now? Who I uh, said was a great Canton guy? Jones. Oh, I said it was a great guy. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, you said Kim was a great guy. I didn't. Woman, Larry. Baby, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> but that was the devil. <laughs> you see, the, the, now for the cut, they're gonna listen. Kim, I was not. Now you do look like Ellen DeGeneres, but that, but I won't say that you. I was not saying that was not what I was saying. But you do remind me of Ellen, and Ellen is a young mind of God. Um. Anyway, so <laughs> Lee. <laughs> Okay, so uh, that was a great show. I think it was a, 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 a wonderful show. You were the highlight of the show. Dr. Holly Carter and Lemuel Plummer, if, if they had not cast you, none of us would have watched the show. And in that show, you, that's when I found out about the imperfect people changing. You went out, you dressed as a prostitute, you passed out condoms, and everybody was going crazy. But I said to myself, why is everybody killing Leandre for passing out condoms in Atlanta? Now, wait a minute. Let me explain something to you. Atlanta, when it comes to STDs, particularly HIV, we're like a third world country, according to the CDC here. So it makes sense mm-hmm. to go out there on the street and hand out condoms in a place where people either don't have access to them or refuse to use them. So I never understood. I was like, well, she's doing what needs to be done. Because some so clearly somebody ain't using no condom. Right. What, right. What was the feedback you got from that? Was that feedback as 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 hard and harsh as the feedback as it relates to the, the Patron and all of that? Um, uh, it, it was. It, it was hard. It, it was hard, but I understood what I was doing, you know, and uh, I I walked out there. Like, my thing is this. You can't walk out there with a clergy collar on, no mm. coat jacket, you know, or in a long dress and, and a dolly on your head and go try to talk to somebody, you know, on the streets. And when you don't know where they come from, you don't know why they're doing what they're doing. You don't, you know, you know what I'm saying? If people want to hear God, I'm pretty sure that they can go anywhere in the room, the bathroom, outside, you know, in their truck, their car, whatever, in the back of a house, the back of a club, they can go anywhere and talk, talk to God, you know, because that's who he is. You know, he's, you know, he's not just in one place, you know, why everybody over there on the left side of the world having 50 night revivals, you know what I'm saying? Everybody up on the right side of the world, you know, ain't nobody having no revivals over there. So that's all they have is, is their relationship with God. You know, so when I go out there, my idea was, you know, if I'm going to go on the corner, you know, where the prostitutes are, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to look like them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to look like them. So when I look like them, of course, you know, they're going to ask me questions. But, you know, I ain't trying to, you know, go out there for you to ask me any questions as opposed to, you know, who who's on the street or who on the block and none of this. But, I mean, you know, we talking to them. I know how to create a conversation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm a people person. You know, and if, and if, if I light up a cigarette, and at the time I wasn't smoking, you know, and if I light up a cigarette, and somebody be like, hey, man, let me get a cigarette. I'd be like, yeah, you can get one. Let's talk about God, though, first. So that was my whole uh, situation, and it actually worked. Mm-hmm. You know, they took that cigarette. We talked about God. You know, it worked. It worked. That's the ministry that I do. That's the ministry that God has given me. I'm not saying for nobody else to go out there and do the same thing I did. But, of course, people that 
missed the point. They missed the point that I pass out cigarettes, I pass out condoms. I mean, that's safe sex. They teach safe sex in school. Mm-hmm. So why is it okay for the, for the teachers to teach safe sex in school, but I can't teach safe sex out here on the street? Because mm. I'm a I'm a Christian, or because I go to church, you know what I'm saying. So mm. that was what was hard because it's like you say one thing, and then just because we do it in a different way, mm-hmm. but or we we don't do it your way, then then it's different. That's what was hard, you know, and that's what made me angry. That's what made me, you know, just be like, you know what, something needs to happen. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Y'all need to figure something out because. Is y'all telling us, you know, this this thing, but when I do it this way, then it's a problem. See, you know what I'm saying? But see, I think that the re- I, this is what I think, and this is my personal opinion. What you were doing was an evangelistic strategy. I don't think the church does really good at evangelism. I think the church does really well at recruiting members and reprogramming people. Yeah. I think the church is excellent at that. I think the church is better, just as good as that, at that as Apple. I mean, Apple got us fighting Android users, you know, and, and saying we're Apple heads as if we are in worship to a, a, a God. And, and, and don't too many people get it better than Apple, but I think the church is, I mean, the most skilled when it comes to recruiting members reprogramming people and getting de- devoted followers but I don't think the church d- do well when it comes to evangelism evangelism called evangelism is, is all about relationship with God relationship with Jesus and life change and I think that what you were trying to do was trying to bring change in somebody's life and make their life better and you said it made you angry later on you have managed Leandria I don't I don't I'm sh- because I have been able to be around you I know that you do not think like this, but you have managed to stay in our mouth and our mind on the latest news every single year. Don't, 12 months don't go by and everybody's talking about something Leandra Johnson done said, something she done did, or a single she done dropped this, or a performance that she did. Now, what happened last year, 2019? Actually, it was in it was 2018. Um, around the summer. Yeah. Say what now? No, I was yeah, I was saying 18. Yeah, it was in 2018, and it was around around the summer. I remember I was here at the house, um, in Atlanta, and I got this notification that said, "Go watch Leandra," and I went over there and I began to watch, and. And this piggybacking off of what you said about being angry. What I saw then again was similar to what I saw in 2015 around Labor Day with the Patron. What I saw that day in 2018 was anger again and frustration. But it was as relates to the church. It's like you're saying and you're telling all of us to be perfect. And none of you guys are perfect. In fact, some of you guys are doing some of the same things that you're preaching and rebuking others about doing, but playing a role. That day, what was going on that day? What had happened, if you can share, what happened that made you go online again and just go off? Well, actually, you know, I... Again, you know, of course I was drinking Mm -hmm. and, um, I, you know, just wanted to share, you know, that's, that would be a problem, I guess, if I, I'm drinking and I want to just get on social media and just share my truth or share how I feel because people can screenshot this, they can, you know, they can comment and and become a trigger or they can comment and, and have you become a little more angry, you know, than you want it to be. But, um, just certain things happen in my life and I just got tired. Like, like I'm, I just got tired. I got tired of being so quote unquote program. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, I mean, everything, I, I grew up in the church, so it goes with me. Like I grew up in the church, grew up in the church and my mama's stomach grew up in the church kind of thing, you know, mm-hmm. so it's, it's embedded in me. And, um, just a lot of things, you know, walking up to certain people saying, hey, how you doing? And they looking at you like you're crazy or they being cocky towards you or, you know, they don't want to, you know, they don't want to speak because they feel, you know, like, you know, this ain't the time to speak. Like, like, who are you? 
Like, and that's what I said. Like, I mean, who the hell are you <laughs> for you to act like that towards me? You get what I'm saying? Like, and that made, I, at that moment, I just quit. Mm. And I was like, I said what I said. Y'all know what I said, you know. But even at the, at the moment, you know, I had a church when I said that. You know, I wasn't talking about my church. I wasn't talking about churches who have taken me in or took me in and was there for me. I wasn't talking about them per se, but I was just, when I said the church, I mean, the church is the people. It ain't the building. You know, it's not the denomination. You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. not the religion of the church. You know, I was just the people, you know, mm-hmm. but I didn't specify that. So I could see why a lot of people were offended. I can see why a lot of churches were offended because of how I said it. Well, let's, well, let's I want to, I want to, I want to find out more about that. But before we go forward, I want you guys to see the apology that Leandra released. I have it here. We're going to play it. It's a minute and 52 seconds after oh, that. Larry. Yeah, I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it. You were, you were in two different outfits because you were in a photo shoot, but everybody may didn't see it, but she did apologize. So I'm going to play the apology. And then we're going to come back and I'm going to ask her more questions surrounding this. I'll be right back. This is Leandria Johnson. Listen, I am currently in a photo shoot right now, so that's why I'm a little all dolled up. But I want to just take out this time while everybody is changing cameras and changing wardrobe uh, to say to all of my fans that are out there who do go to church, um, me saying F the church I meant to address the politics of the church. You know what I'm saying? All the little undermining things that's going on in the church that hurts people like me, people like other people um, who have been through a lot of things in the church. You know, Christianity. Um, it's just a lot that's going on. So the way I said it, using the F bomb, I apologize to the fans that of mine that do go to church. I do apologize if I offended you. Now, the politics and all of the, the, the stuff that's going on behind the closed doors, that's what I don't like, and that's what I was speaking about. I don't like that, it's not right. I think that we as a body of Christ should come together and really sit down and find out what's going on, what we could do to better the church or to better uh, the community of the church. So with that being said, um, keep your girl in prayer. Love you. Talk to you later. This is Leandra Johnson again. Listen, I'm still here doing my photo shoot. Of course, I've changed into my next look. Um, there is something that I wanted to add to my initial video. Um, I wanted to sincerely apologize to Bishop Marvin Watkins and to his congregation at a whole. God bless. All right, now that was the apology that gospel singer Leandria Johnson released, and you can hear in this what well, she apologized because I remember I went live right afterwards. Right afterwards, I went live. It was eleven fifty nine that night, and that really was a um, another milestone in this platform. Larry Re Live. This is why I'm so excited to have her up here because it started with Leandria. The shift change in the platform happened in 2018 after she done that that video, and now she's here again. You know, so and I think this is um, a very significant moment. But she said in that video, and I said this the night I went live, that what you said was right. The I I don't see nothing that she said in that video. I'm not gonna play it. You had to go Google it. But I, what she said that night was. It was the truth. And, and I'm glad you only apologize for the way that you said it. Because I, I, I don't see nothing wrong with what you said. If anybody that grew up in the church and been around in the industry, you they know what you said was the truth. Yeah, but, but, but what about this though, Larry? What if, what if, like they did back in the day when I was young, what if, I was not Leandria Johnson, and I said what I said, and I was a musician. Well, let me not use a musician first because I feel like they get a little leniency because the the church needs a musician unless they're going to be like, okay, I got somebody else, you know, for next Sunday. I'll pause on that. But what if I was that praise and worship leader, female praise and worship leader? 
Or what if I was that assistant to uh, the motherboard or, you know, well, you know, what, what if I was an ordinary churchgoer, tithe payer, when you need an extra $200 for your building fund type person, when you want to, you know, have an extra day outside and feed the community and I'm right there in line with my gloves on, apron on, you know, sweating, cooking chicken. Matter of fact, staying up late at night cooking chicken in my house. You know what I'm saying? Preparing the food, you know what I'm saying, to make sure that your ministry stay afloat. What if I was that member and I said what I said? Oh, yeah. Oh, I would have been silent. Oh, yeah, it would have been over then. All the work, everything that I worked hard for or worked toward, oh, that would have been over. It would have been over. You know what I'm saying? I got to take, I have to separate myself from that. And I don't want people to ever think that I do what I do. I say what I say because my name holds weight. That's bull. Do you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. That's bull. No, I don't do that because my name holds weight. I do it because I've been there and I've seen and I'm still seeing this going on. And it's not right. And it's not good. It's not. It's not right. And it's not good. And that's why. At I, all. And, 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 and I was able to, to, to get to know you and what she is saying right now and the passion that she's saying it with that is leandria's heart leandria is a lover of people a a lover of her family i mean this is why when i when i heard that your brother had died and i saw the posting that you had made with um you and, and your brother and your family and your siblings i was like oh my god I can't believe this happened because I knew how you felt about your family. And I I was really concerned, you know, what what would happen because you're such a lover of your family and of and of people. So this passion that you guys are are hearing and that she spoke in that video, it was because of how people are done. Now Leandro love God, love the church. It's like I love God, love the church, but if some stuff come out there on you and I feel like I want to talk about it, I ain't going to bring it out. But if it come out there on you and I want to talk about it, I will. You know why? Because I love the church, but I love the truth more than I do the church. And I'm going to tell the truth. Exactly. And guess what? And, and guess what? And I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to even want to cut you off because a lot of people have this to say also. They were like, well, you know what I'm saying? She's saying everything about the church and this, that, 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 but the church still pay her. Let me tell you something. Everybody that think that way. Let me tell you something. Yes, I do what I do. I do what I do because guess what? Certain churches get what I do. So the ones that get what I do, yeah, they pay me. Those who don't get what I do and can't get what I do, they don't pay me. So which means I don't go there. So let's clear that up because I'm tired of hearing people say that too. Oh, yeah, well, she's saying everything, but oh, they paying her. That's how she make her money. I'm making my money for those who get it. So let's be clear. Let's clear that up. What I like is you're making. So I want to say that. Yeah, you're you're making <laughs> yeah you're you're making an honest living because you're honest and you're transparent. When people book Leandra Johnson, they know that they are they know exactly what they are getting. And I'm gonna say this. Exactly. I've been wanting to say I ain't never said this to you off camera. I, it's a question, and I want you to answer it. How do you take pain? And sing it like it's joy. I'm, I'm, how do you do that? Larry, to be honest, it's joy for those who have, it's joy for those who are able to hear me sing from pain. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. it's joy for those who can experience my pain. And Kimberell asked me, Ten years ago, where do you sing from? And I told her the truth then, pain. Because at the end of the day, Larry, I didn't want to be no singer. I didn't want this. I wanted to be a police officer. Low key, still kind of, still kind of do. <laughs> Low key, you know, you know. But uh, I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot that I have to put out in a book, Larry. I got to put out in a movie. I got to put it out, you know, and like, no 
nobody will never know what I really go through unless I just really, really just put a camera in my life day to day. And they still wouldn't know. They still wouldn't understand. They still wouldn't understand. You know, and um, my life is not to be understood. My life is to be experienced. Mm. And that's the best that I can give haters. Mm. That's the best that I can give naysayers. That's the best that I can give my supporters, my fans, my even my family. You know, that's the best that I can give is my experience. And when I sing, and I say I joke, I joke with myself by myself sometimes. I'm like, man, if you sing like this and, you know, it's pain, man, what, what is it going to sound like when you sing from joy? Like, I would love to get on the, the stage and just render a selection and, and just be happy. You know what I'm saying? I would love that, you know? But, I mean, hey, to each his own, you know, everybody's happiness is different. You know, so, but um, if that if I answered your, your question correctly, I'm sorry if I didn't answer it. I, um... I, I don't even know if you can if you could have answered it so um, any more eloquently. So what I just learned in this moment is it's still pain for you, and it's it is because I was saying mm-hmm. how how does she sing her pain like it's joy? But what what really what it is? I am receiving the joy, and you still in the pain. Wow! Yeah, exactly, exactly. And still got a low key, you know what I'm saying? Watch what you say. Watch what you tell somebody, you know. Watch what you got on. Don't wear this. Don't wear that. You know what I'm saying? Or be careful, you know. And don't tell everybody this. And try not to, you know, everybody don't need to know everything about you. Man, look. Okay, then. All right, then. All right. <laughs> I remember we was at the bar. But Leandra was drinking. It won't me. I'm paper Bible say. But anyway. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't he wasn't drinking, y'all. It was just me. <laughs> oh, remember you gave me that blue thing. What was what was the name of that thing? It was light blue, and you said try this. It was all. I don't know. Probably. It was like well, you know blue. they get at me when I use certain words. It was a blue. Everybody that know what it is, it was a blue. Oh, it was a blue. Blue what? That's what all I'm gonna say. Oh, somebody... they get on me when I you know. Oh, okay, well don't tell me. What, don't say. What, but it, but uh but that thing burnt that. It burnt my soul up. It burnt. I also wanted to think. It. <laughs> <laughs> it burnt my lungs. You know, but I remember sitting at, we were sitting at the bar. It was in the middle of the night. I mean, because at that time, Leandro was living in a certain area and I was living in Buckhead so I can get to where we our meetup spot was. And so she was like, look, I'm up here. You know, let's just talk. And so I would just pop up there and I would go. And in one of the conversations, you said something that I, I want everybody, I want to share. I didn't ask her to share this, but I wanted to sh- I want to share this because this is really important for you to understand who she is. She said to me, she said, Larry, I want to be me. Whatever that is. And she said, I don't care if I got to go to Walmart and work. She said, I'm going to take care of me and I'm going to take care of these kids. She said, I don't care about all of this. She said, I want to be me. She said, I love God. I love my kids. I love the church. But I don't love all of this that come with it. And 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 I must say it in the, in the paper Bible say way. And these folk ain't living worth a nickel of dog food. <laughs> but that ain't what she said. <laughs> she said, they just like me. And they calling me. Telling me to get off line and not put a camera in my face when I'm being me, but they doing worse than me behind the scene. And they killing me. So it's like I'm getting in trouble for being real the way God wants me to be real. But I supposed to be fake like they fake. Do you remember that conversation? Right, right. Right, right. <sighs> you're right. You're right. Remember that. You're right. And I'm so glad you said, you know, what's the difference? You know, well, you said paper Bible say so. You know, and people ask the question, well, what's the difference between Paper Bible Save and Lee Andrea Save? The thing about it is, I'm saved. Yes, I am. We're all saved. We're saved by grace. Yes, we all are. But my thing is this, Paper Bible Saved, if you're going to ask that question, how does your life live up to Paper Bible Saved? Now, now, I, I, that would be my question to you. Okay, let me ask the question then. Ra good not, not you, but everybody, anybody. Not <laughs> no, you, I'm, no, I'm going to ask it. I'm answered. My life, okay. my life is raggedy. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you what parts. 
There's some parts in there because I'm single now. There's some there's some parts in there according to what what that that Bible say that I have some problem with. You no, know, according to what it say, I ain't got no business getting married a second time because I've been divorced before. All right, that's a little problem in there. Uh, I know y'all play with them scripts and make it say that you can't get married a second time, but that ain't what it say. And then um, the, then how about that pork and eat, eating that pork and shrimp and them scavengers. Uh -huh. Some of y'all like that shrimp and oysters and lobsters and all the pig. You ain't got no business eating none of that according to the biblications. We talking about paper Bible say. So when I'm saying paper Bible say, I mean I'm meaning I'm probably living better than y'all. <laughs> all right. But the reality is, right. ain't none of us measuring up with that with the book the way that we should. We just ain't. Well, that's all I wanted to hear. <clears throat> that's all I wanted to hear, and everybody that's on here that wanted that question answered, there you have it. Because at the end of the day, we can't be asking questions that we know deep down inside that we can't even handle, we can't even control. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, right now, at the end of the day, we can get a prophecy from somebody that is very accurate in our life. And then the next day, the very next day, got to fight that. Got to fight that spirit. Got to fight that, that controlling spirit and say, well, Lord, maybe one more time. Or, or, Lord, okay, I may not do that, but I'll do something near to that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's, that's all I'm saying because mm -hmm. it, it, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. If everybody curtain was flipped up, if everybody curtain was flipped up, oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, but my uh, heart don't necessarily just go out for those that are still living, Larry. My heart really go out to those who died in this thing, who died hurt by the church, who died still, you know, uh, uh, blinded, you know, and not woke by, by what it is. You know, they died thinking one thing. They died thinking was Jesus was one thing and God was another thing. You know what I'm saying? They died thinking that, you know, Man, I might as well go to hell then, because if it's going to be living like this, I might as well go to hell. You know, that's what hurts me the most. And the thing about it is people got so used to to to, to what it is, the hurt that's in the church. I mean, I ain't out here talking about nothing else but what, have I, what I experienced, mm -hmm. you know, and hoping that somebody will hear what I experienced and let them know, listen, I ain't out here just doing what I'm doing because I can you know, I'm out here doing what I'm doing because I'm me. I'm 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 a human, you know, and, and I'm I make mistakes and I'm gonna continue making mistakes. Just like even with Iyama. What made Iyama powerful for me was because she looked me in my eye and said, because I, I you know, she was trying to tell me, you know, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. I was like, Man, I'm a grown woman. I ain't say grown woman, I said grown ass woman. But anyway, and she was like, Well, you know, a grown woman she said a grown woman take care of her business. A grown woman, you know what I'm saying, get her affairs in order. A grown woman makes sure that she got life insurance, health insurance for her kids. When she started saying stuff like that, that's when my spirit became submissive to what she was saying. And I was like, hey, man, you're right. But I couldn't do that because I let the alcohol control me. I let the alcohol, you know what I'm saying, be something for me that it shouldn't have been. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. So that's that's what it worked for me. But Everybody, you know, oh, is she is she straight or is she she is she drinking? Is she is she that? Is she that? Now that's the wrong questions you need to be asking. Don't ask it. Don't don't ask me that question. You know what I'm saying? And that's why forever I don't care what nobody say about Eon. Eon was yeah. answer. I don't care what nobody say about her. She came to me real, just like I came to her real. She came back with me real, and I couldn't fight what she was saying. I couldn't fight nothing she said. But what was Nothing. the? But what, um, That's I, how it need to be. And I felt that she was being real, and I praised what she was doing. I did a show about it. Robert called in, and he was like, "She's fake." What with the real? With the real e Rhonda? Where you at, Rhonda? Which was hilarious to me. But I guess he was talking about the relationship that he was having with her and how he discerned her. Because you you're saying that she was very real, and that was the reason why that you she always have your respect. It's just funny. It's so funny how people can opinionate themselves upon your life or in your life. And it, it, that's, that's what's funny. But at the end of the day, Larry, I'm 37 years old. I'm still keep moving. I'm still keep striving, but I'm not, I'm not going to say 
I'm not going to be, well, I don't know what's, what's going to happen. All I know is I have learned from a lot of things, and I know that the, what I did before I won't do. Now, there may be something else that somebody don't like about Landry, you know, period. Mm-hmm. You know, that's going to always be until I leave here. Yeah. But, you know, it's, it's, it's just we have to, I have to accept the fact that I'm going to be hating on whether I, whether I put on a long skirt, white stockings, never drink again, <laughs> never smoke again, mm-hmm. uh, wear all white maybe, or, you know, never cuss again, you know. And, um, you know, somebody's still going to talk about me. Le- Leandra, Are you serious? I want, I want to get your – yeah, you're right. But uh, we some of us LRLers, many, man, in fact, most of us LRLers, we got your back. Um, and we're going to support you. And we, and I want to let y'all know about a, a single that she had. But before we get to that, I just got something. Um, do you know Tiffany Andrews, Leandra? Yes. I, yeah, I, I met her. Yeah, I know her. Yeah. But I you don't, her, you don't, quite a few times. Yeah. Okay, you don't know her personally. Well, you know, I've done the story on her about being a deadbeat mammy. Do you remember me doing that? Did you hear about that? Yeah, I heard about that, Larry. I heard about that. Okay, well, okay, I'm gonna right, right. I'm, I'm ask you what you think because I just her, her daughter just hit me up right now and said that her mama just mm-hmm. blocked her on social media. Now, if you follow the story, I called uh-huh. therapists and paid and put money to the side for them to have six sessions, and I left the information mm-hmm. with Tiffany to do so. She never did it. And now she just blocked her daughter because Tiffany made a post. And you see, this is what this is what Leandra was talking about. She made a post said 19 minutes ago, conversations with my children are priceless. Love them to pieces. And so she went up under there, her oldest daughter, and said, What about me? And then at minutes later, she blocked her. And she have yet to receive the child support card. But Tiffany Andrews has not been drugged. The way Leandria was drugged. You see what I'm talking about? What 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 right, what, right. what 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 about that? What how come y'all not dragging Tiffany? How come don't say nothing, Leandria? Let me finish. I'm about to go off. Why ain't y'all dragging Tiffany? She need to be dragged up. Because she not taking, she ain't even talking to her child. I drag these other pastors. I drag Will Murphy because he ain't taking care of his children. I, I'm going to drag her too. And ain't, ain't no bishop, no pastor, no prophet going to prophesy and say, the Lord will have me to tell you to stop being a deadbeat mammy and take care of your children. Quit traveling around the world, singing, trying to save the world when your child won't relationship with you. Why ain't nobody saying that? If I see Tiffany Andrew, that would be the day. I mean, I might go back old school proper. Re- I mean, go into convulsions. They say, thus up the Lord, you nasty. You sorry. You ain't no good. Put down the mic. You, you, you're in sin, full of iniquity. We don't want to hear nothing you got to sing. But then y'all praising them. Y'all is the dumbest people. What is the, what is the damn? Why y'all so damn? I don't, I don't understand that. Y'all over that praise is what I do. It ain't. He ain't called Christian or the shell of moment, and I don't know how long. I don't understand that. Mm-hmm. But then y'all drag Lee Andrea. Mm-hmm. And she take care of her children. I hear you, baby. I, I hear you, Larry. But my thing is this. It's, you know, the daughter is re- like, I'm, like, I'm, I'm dealing with a, a similar situation mm-hmm. right now. Like, the mother and the daughter are in a feud, right? Mm-hmm. But here I go trying to be low-key Jesus. You know, and try to see if I can be the middleman to see well, what's going on. I couldn't do that, Larry. I got in the middle of something and trying to figure out well, what's going on, why the mother and the daughter are not getting along. And it was deeper than what I thought. It was deeper than what I imagined. Mm-hmm. The daughter had a story. The mother had a story. Yeah. So what's the truth? 
You get what I'm saying? Oh, and yeah, I understand that. I don't that. want, you know, but I don't want nobody to be dragged because nobody dragged me. I, I, I don't want that. You I, know? I understand that. that. I wouldn't be. That was that was my know? that was and my I, doing. But see, that everybody know you ain't right. like that, but I am. And the reason why I'm dragging because oh. I reached out trying to try this thing i won't trying to fix nothing because i am a commentator now i could but that ain't what right. i'm doing no more and i don't do it right. free but i call professionals for you to take your hips to sit down and get it right. fixed and then you don't do it and then you make a post to my i love conversation with my children didn't the bible say something about provoking your children to anger Mm-mm. Okay. so the answer, you okay. stay on that stuff you want okay. you let me do this Let's get back to you. I'm sorry. I just okay. had a moment. Just had a moment. Okay. No, no, no. It's okay. But, but I mean, I, I get it. I get it. And it ain't, you know, that ain't none of my, you know, none of my business. I just thought I should, you know, throw in what I, I throw, threw in because I was looking at one, you know, greater than another too. Like, you know, but anyway, you know, yeah. that's here and all that. But, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. All right. I now, mean, if it was like that, now, Larry, you know, if you if you plan something and y'all say y'all come together and talk together. Now, both of them were saying, no, we don't want to talk. Then, Larry... We can't do nothing about that. But if one is saying let's talk and the other one is saying not talk, but still again, you know, real talk though. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we. But it's the mama that don't want to talk. It's the it's the mama that's not want to. It's the mama that's not trying to go to counselor. It ain't the daughter. That's stupid. Okay, I mean, and you a whole man of stuff. I hear you. Mm -mm. There ain't no fixing to that one. You just nice, Leandro. You just nice. You've been in Aquarius right now. (laughs) <laughs> Baby, you know it. Who's the Aquarius need to say something right now? Put their hands up, put the water sign up, all that. All the Aquarius is right now. Come on now, motherland. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Now. All right. Let's get the get get back to this. Now there is, okay. and I I want I want to say this. I honestly believe that Le Leandria. Oh, okay, Leandria. I'm gonna say this now. You you might not be able to respond back to this but you let me know the best you can and still keep your jobs um i don't like how you are marketed i don't like it if i didn't okay. like if i didn't like your voice i wouldn't stream and download your music now we're gonna we're gonna stream and download but y'all put this the single up we're gonna stream and we're gonna download this because we love the andrew and want to support it's called Leandra Johnson's Hold On. Brand new single. It was released August the 31st. The 21st. We're going to stream it and we're going to download it. Of course, her vocals are on it, so she killing like she always do. But uh, I don't like. I, I don't, I, I'm the best album and the best packaging I thought you had was the bigger than me. There were so many tracks on that album. CD that to me where was where and the way that you should be packaged. Your voice, although it belongs or was birthed or in the church, but you got I'm talking something like Whitney Houston, Tina Turner, Patti LaBelle, you know, these these uh, Aretha Franklin, these monumental female voices who we never forget and go down in history forever. And I actually think the way that you are marketed, and if you agree with me in this chat, they, they, 1.9 thousand of you, I think, in Facebook, look like 26, 2,651 of you watching on YouTube. If you agree, I want you to put in there and tag RCA and tell them, do something different. I mean, I did, and, I, and what's up all these slow songs? This is funky. Lee Andrea Johnson, let her do the slow songs when she's live at church. But when we were a single, that song, what's the name of that song? Love Anymore. Mm-hmm. Love. Lee Andrea, they, yeah. one, they one part yeah. in that song, you sound like Tina Turner. Have you heard that? They, oh my God. And you're accurate. You're so accurate, though. And that was, you know, Chuck Harmony and Claude Kelly. Amazing. Two amazing. Uh, producers and actually they thinking the same thing like you. They See? thinking the same thing like you right now, Larry. See? They thinking the same thing, you know. But Larry, I gotta own some some type of responsibility in it, okay. you know, Larry. I, I had to get some stuff together, Larry. I had to get myself together in order to see the vision of what everybody else saw of me. Mm. And I guarantee you right now I'm there, baby. <laughs> oh, I'm there, baby. Now, let me say you want some new music, baby, you want some funk, honey. It's on the way. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I promise you. I promise you. You know, I gotta own up to. I'm, I'm just telling you. I gotta, you know, take, you know, some responsibility. I have a new team now. You know what I'm saying? So um, we're working on some things, and it's actually beautiful and amazing. Um, I'm working with some some very 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 wonderful musicians, mm-hmm. and um, I've been now for the last past month been in rehearsals three days a week. Wow! And I'm in Jacksonville, um, <clears throat> putting together a, a great show that's coming out. And um, so I get what you're saying, Larry. You in the spirit on tonight? Now let me find out <laughs> that you're in the spirit. <laughs> yeah. it's true. I mean, and I've all yeah. I, I've been screaming it. I've been saying it. Uh, for years, but the Bigger Than Me album was the best presentation of of the monumental gift that you are. That song, Love You Anymore, I'm, I, I have rewound, I have let people in my life, I said, listen to this. It's like Tina Turner steps in Leandra voice and sings this whole yeah. part of the song for about 45 seconds. I said, this is crazy. And and I think it yeah. is um, something that we, we just cannot lose we have been so blessed to have you in the church and have, have your voice and the kind of person that, that you are. You're an authentic and transparent and loving, loving person. And, and I hope everybody tonight from listening to this interview, we can really go on and on and on. But I want you guys to, to really see Lee Lee, the, the woman behind the strong anointing gift talent that she has. And I hope that you were able to hear her, her heart. Well, let me ask you this, um, Leandra. Mm-hmm. Are you, are you, what are, other than singing and the police officer thing, but that's in the past, you can't go do that. And plus you black, what they're going to do, shoot yourself? Even the police don't do right. Um, um, what else do you want to do in life? Acting or anything, what else you want to do? Um, I mean, you know, if the door is open for acting, you know, it's, I, I believe it's all about, you know, how I feel or how I wake up in the morning and connecting with the energy, you know. I'm, I don't know. I'm sure I may want to be an astronaut. You know, it all depends, you know. But, um, you know, right now, you know, of course, I mean, I just want to give my story, my, my story, you know, further than the four walls of the church. Yeah. I want to be able to reach as many people as I can, you mm-hmm. know, especially those who have just completely gave up. You know, and I want to be there. I want to be that light for them. But with that being that light, I don't want to just be that light for them. I, I you know, I kind of low key want to grow with them in their situation. You know, and writing a book would be great. Winning another Grammy would be great. Mm-hmm. A couple of most fellows, you know, double war, a little Oscar. You know, what I'm saying something like that. You know, um, being the best mother that I can be for my kids. Mm-hmm. You know, and um, you know. Being an example, you know, not for just my race alone, but all nationalities, mm-hmm. you know, and um, yeah, it's, it's it's a lot. But I I want to start first with, you know, surrounding myself with good energy, great energy. I've made a lot of mistakes, Larry. Yeah. I have. We I've all heard, had those. Lambs. I've heard some we, people. We all have. Yeah, we you have. know, I've I've yeah, I've hurt people, been hurt, you know. So the cycle of the cycle of that kind of stuff. I just want to just kind of like I hope it just diminish. You know, I just hope it just you know, just going on on by the business, you know, and um, go try somebody else and see if they can be tested, tried, and true. Um, okay. <laughs> right. But, uh, All right. You know. I, I want to um, I want to see if I can get something done. Hold on for a minute. I just had a an idea. Um, hold on. Okay. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Um. But while while I'm while I'm waiting on that. Um, I got a, uh, some quick questions I want to ask you, like one word answers. W- what is your favorite color? Purple. <sighs> wow. Okay. What is your um, favorite type of music? Oh, wow. Uh, well, Tupac, rap. <laughs> <laughs> rap. Okay. When it comes to the go- gospel music, what is your favorite kind of gospel music? Mine. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I I love everybody. I love everybody. Everybody is different, so I, I love it. Do you like I quartet music? I love it all. Oh yes, honey. Now yes. Oh, good, 
good old quartet music is be all right with me, honey. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so Lisa, per- knows, Lisa knows Tim Rogers, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell you how it is. <laughs> Canton Spiritual, Willie Neal. You know, I'm just going down the line. Yeah, huh? I I can hear that. I can hear that in your voice. Okay. Um, favorite type of food? Um, or what's your favorite thing to eat? I would say I would say soul food, but you know, now it changes. You know, anything stuffed. <laughs> Anything stuff we can go with that. All right, when it comes to your favorite gospel singers, who what who is your your favorite female and your favorite male gospel singer? Well, my mentors are you know James Moore okay. and the male female the Rena Clark Cole female, mm-hmm. um, but right now in the my favorite category. To, for me to walk in there and my hands be lifted, you know, 99% of the time, I have to go ahead and give it to Tasha Cobbs. Got to give it to Kier, you know. And if I start naming names, then a lot of people going to hate me. Okay, well, you, you know, I, I, just, I, just asked, I just asked who were your favorite. So you said Dorenda for female and James Moore for male. And if y'all do not know who James, Reverend James Moore, my Jesus, one of the baddest male vocal vocalists in gospel. All right. When it comes to your favorite preachers, who are your favorite preachers, male and female? Favorite preachers. Wow. I got to give it to my dad. I got to give that one to my dad. Um, uh, man, his name um, for his hooping. I got to give it to Leroy Elliott okay. for his hooping. Okay. Um, for as uh truth and when i say when i say truth like a an enlightenment on you know the bible and everything i have to give it to pastor tim rogers oh wow wow so my dad my daddy first leroy elliott and then you know for enlightenment on the word of god you know tim rogers pastor tim rogers but female you don't have a female favorite preacher one of the rough sounding oh, managed wow. bishop female bishop apostles oh, pastors man. Yeah, you gotta give me one second because um, you gotta give me one second. Hold on, let me see. Hold on, hold on, one second. Uh, oh man, that's it's so easy. It's so easy. I'm just trying to remember her name. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to remember her name. I'm talking about a person that is like shook the whole room. Uh, who? Uh, oh man, that could be on a lock, Jackie McCullough. Uh, Juanita Bynum, so well. I mean, you know, not not, not respect is respect is that now that Juanita Bynum had it now. I'm respect yeah, now for yeah, yeah, Juanita, yeah, Juanita, but it's it's it's, a, it's another one. Yeah, I give it to Juanita, Juanita okay. Bynum, but it was another one. Okay, you're gonna God, give it to Juanita, Lord. and I and I would I would give it to Juanita when it comes to not 2020 Juanita. But but pimping, buzz cut, no makeup, big old two big clothes, handkerchief around the neck, Juanita. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Juanita will have oh you up on up on the pew somewhere, just vomiting yeah. all your demons, yeah. just demons coming out. Yeah, yeah. That was definitely way back then. Yeah, but Man, this... ain't nobody gonna make me up, Chuck. Not today, but golly, what is this lady name? Oh my God, Cheryl Brady, oh, Best Lord, Lord. Time McKenzie. Um, people putting names in here. Jack, Jack, Jazz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put them. Na- yeah, put them names out there. Let uh-uh. me see. Let me see. Put them names out there. Doctor um, Jazz. Y'all like Doctor Jazz? I don't really care for her like that. I don't like. Her. Now, hey, Doctor Jazz, bad too, though. Now, Doctor Jazz, bad too. I can't. Yeah, she bad I, too. I saw a picture of her. Outside the pool, you know pit, what? Outside the pulpit, and I thought I was looking at Jesse. I said, "Wait a minute, is that Jasmine Scurlock?" They said, "Yesterday, I said that's Jesse Scurlock." 
That ain't right. Leave me, leave me alone, Larry. Right? But hold, hold, let, let me explain. Let me explain. There are LBGTQ people that watch. I got friends or associates, how you want to look at it, people I know who are butch lesbians. But Tom, um, y'all over there in homeless and in real, y'all, that's supposed to be something wrong with that. So you mean to tell me y'all, y'all, everybody can do the Donna McClurkin and just say, I used to be gay. And although I'm on Leave Instagram, me alone, Larry. huh? What? Leave me alone, Larry. I'm oh, not doing it. Oh, okay. Uh -uh. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to just say my mama. My mama. My mama, my mama bad preacher. My okay. mama, Sharon Johnson, Sharon oh, Regina okay, Johnson. Okay, sorry. I yeah, went yeah, off. Yeah, Leandro, yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring into that. I'm, I'm so sorry. This, that, All of what I just said was Larry Reed. It was not Leandria Johnson. Leandria, Lee Lee, thank you so much for doing this interview. And I want you to, you guys, put the single up. Please go. Now, I'm going to tell you, she killing on this, on this single. And you're going to feel like you need to hold on after she fin... Leandra, why did... See, this is what I'm talking about. Who put you in this kitchen? This is a trailer kitchen chair. Why did they do this here? <laughs> and then you look like you ain't got no neck. You feel like you ain't got... This a mess. See, this a mess. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Larry! <laughs> I told you, I got, I got some, I got a new team now. I got a new team now. Just, you know, take my mistakes as out of love. Put the picture back up. Out of love. I mean, you know, it's, it's, you, know you look cute. You said kitchen chair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Ow, I'm tickled. Lord, you got to think of my own self. Oh, my. You know what? I can't. Mm -mm, that ain't right. I, I don't know who I need to call over to the RCA, but y'all ain't do Leandra right. We love her. <laughs> this right here. And you took away her neck. Y'all can't do that to Leandra. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to stream that and download that song because we like Leandra. We do not like the cover art. But, but let me tell y'all this. <laughs> One song I want y'all to go listen to is Love Anymore. And when if you listen to it and you hear Tina, make sure y'all post it on your social media. And tag Lee Andrew. Yes, and but Larry, tell them to get hold on, though. Tell them to get hold oh, on. Oh, yeah, I did. Now. I just told them. Hold, hold on. Y'all put that back up. Make sure I do this right. Y'all stream and get hold on. And you you get this. this, this. Don't you look at the cover, though, because you're not going to get it. But... Make sure you, you stream. Hold on, Lord, this kitchen chair. I just can't. But make sure y'all y'all stream screenshot it. I want to see them numbers go up like y'all did for for um the other folk we had up here. The one couldn't even really sing as good as Leandra. So make sure that y'all um get this here. Lord, this take. I can't look at this cover no more. Take it off. But it's, mm. and they took your neck. Well, you look like this. Mm -mm. That, they better not do that. No <laughs> they better not do that no more. Okay. So Leandra, and I want y'all to go get. I want y'all to stream love anymore. Is that with RCA too? Say it again. Was love anymore? That was on the bigger than me. You did that album with RCA. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, y'all stream RC um, yeah. uh, love anymore too, cause they won't mind that. And money is money. Um, love anymore. And if you hear. Tina Turner rear her head up out of Leandra's voice. I want you to put it there. That I when I heard it, I said, now that's Leandra. You can feel wow. all all of, Were you happy when you sung that song? Was I who? What were you happy? What what was happening? It sounded like some you just you was in a whole nother space. Um, I mean, actually, to be honest, uh, like I said, Claude Kelly and Chuck Harmony, I mean, they took me to that space, you know, and mm -hmm. I just channeled, I, you know, I channeled her, you know, and I didn't think, you know, I could do it. And it just, when I channeled her, you know, it, it happened because we all said the same thing. You know, the first person that said that we all felt the same thing. And that was their whole goal and objective anyway. You they know, did. those two wonderful Grammy Award winning plus, 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 plus producers. You know, that's what they wanted. You know, they wanted to present some new music, you know, and a new sound, you know, but still be Leandria. So, um, 
it was very happy because I didn't think I could do it, you know, because I'm used to a certain type of sound, you know, but they did bring me out of my corner, Listen. you know, and um, I'm grateful for them. That, if they're listening or watching, yeah, get that, a shot out that of was, That was phenomenal. It's, it, and you could feel it. it gave me chill. I said, oh, I said, what? I said, it's like, it's like you can't, now I'm saying Tina Turner, but it's like you came all the way out of yourself and just song for like 45 seconds. I said, you know, this is this is some magic right here. And, and I hope these labels will spend some money to get the right producers and stuff. You know, <clears throat> Hold On is a wonderful song. And Leandra sung the soup up out of the song. Please stream it, download it, and buy it. But when you do that, wow. I, I want you to do Love Anymore. Because that song... Gotcha. That thing, I feel that. Hey, I may have to bring it back. I may have to bring it back on my new album. Then. They should. I mean, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying. I told Todd Delaney when he wow. was here. He was had some of the song up there. I forgot what it was. I mean, it was a good song. But I told him that. Um, I said song, song, um, Proverbs. Proverbs. What is it? Proverbs. Proverbs. Say what you say it was, Nancy. Proverbs three. Proverbs three. Um, it was said write it on the tablets. Um, I said that right there should be what the single is, but I think he ended up doing that went right to the top, you know. So you might need to bring that love anymore back because that thing right there, and we need that song right now too. Wow. We need it right now. We need it. Wow! Wow! All right, thank you so wow. much. Thank That's you so amazing. much, Leandra. I absolutely love you. If you ever need me for anything, oh, we need I to meet you. at the bar again. We meet at the bar. I ain't drinking that blue thing that, that almost <laughs> tore my throat down. But, <laughs> oh, I, I felt like it came okay, out man, in my in my dookie the next day. It came out my dookie the next day. It came out my dookie the next day. My booty hole was burnt in bread basket on fire, toasted though. <laughs> I'm over here talking to somebody sitting over here. I would never do that again. <laughs> but Leandra, thank, thank you so much for being here. We love you. I want y'all to fill up the chat with love, telling Leandra that you love her. And she'll see if you tag her right on Facebook, she'll babysit and tell her that you love her. And and look, I'm, I want to do this. Leandra, do you have a cash app? I sure do. Uh, dollar sign Leandria J. One J, one dollar sign Leandria J. Okay, dollar sign Leandria J. I don't know if he, Kenna can make that right quick or not and put it up under there. But I want you guys to show her some love and some appreciation and wear that cash out, that cash app out <laughs> right after you wear MBN Networks. <laughs> Hit them being <laughs> network, but I want you to. Let, we're gonna give them. We're gonna do doing that. Dollar sign, Lee. Yeah. That must be an update. We see it as you're doing it, Nancy. So let's take a name off and just put it right there. We can take a name off. You can't do it like that. Dollar sign, Lee Andrea Johnson. Oh, that's a new. This is doing it. Yeah, she didn't say Lee Johnson. No, man. I'm sorry. Dollar <laughs> sign, Lee Andrea J. We putting it in there. Hold on for a minute, Leandra. Let me know if you start getting the dings on your phone. I, I want to I wanna know you're getting the dings. Okay. Can, can you got to take that top thing out? You got some. <clears throat> Dollar sign. We got it out there now. L-E. You said what? It's L-E. Dollar sign. Uh... L-E-A-N-D-R-I-A-J, right? Yeah. I'll make sure that's right. Let me go ahead and sing a little something right here. Let me see. Okay, I'm, I'm hearing from your team telling me good interview, good interview. Y'all are not do a good interview. I love Leandra. Everybody come up here, I treat them right, even if they a little sideways. But Leandra won't sideways. Um, so I ain't had no problem with that. Todd yeah, Delaney, Am Am Amber. Um, what Am what's her new name? She ain't Amber no more. What is her name? Amber B. Um, Amber B. Yes. Yeah, yeah, she she was really good. She have naked on her thing. In fact, I still got her picture in my phone just for research purposes. Um, and um, and who was this? Uh, the time Delaney. I always treat the people right. I don't never bring nobody and treat, come treat, and treat them wrong. It don't have an apostrophe in the door, Leandra? In the cash app? Uh, no, it, no. 
No, in the cash app, no. It's just, it's just okay. lowercase letters, L-E-A-N-D-R. Right. Are you starting to get hit yet? Yeah, you, uh, yeah. You getting them? Baby, I, I, I was trying to, yeah, I was I was getting them. I, mean, I was trying to tell you I was getting them. And then, you know, we just, we're going to have a live little session. We're going to have a live session, you, know, you and I, all right? Okay, yeah, that, that means you sitting coming, beside I'm me, right? I'm coming to the studio live. Yes, sir. That's, uh, that's, yes, that's, I'm coming to the studio live. Yeah, that's what that's what got to happen. That's what got to happen. That's what got to happen. All right. Well. Yes, and when I. Go hey, ahead. And Larry, huh? this is just part two of what we talked about today. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Now, you know, I, I held back because I want to make sure that the that your um your record label and everybody would, would know I do you right. You know, and, and, but uh, we we gotta get we gotta get into some real conversation <laughs> next time. Okay, Lee Andrew, give us a yeah, little. That's just, yeah, we can't give it. We can't give it all to him at once. We can't give it all to him. At once. Okay, look, can you give us a little bit of your single "Hold On"? You say say, say what again? Can you give us a little bit before you go of your single "Hold On"? Okay, I'm trying to see if I should start with the verse or the or the hook. Whatever you feel. Well, um, I'll start with the hook. I'll start with the hook. That way they'll go and get it and listen to the verse. Okay. Hold on to God from changing hands. Yeah. Hold on to God from Change in hand, yeah. You are to be out your hopes of things eternal. Beautiful to God from change in hand, yeah. Is that all right? I, I, girl, you, you from another world. I mean, that that instantly connects you to God. Instantly. Instantly you feel joy. Man. Leandro, wow. you, you are a blessing. And I pray this, this, um, that you just continue to go on. Don't give up. We in your corner. And anytime you need me, hit me up. I will. And you are a blessing, too. Oh, You're yeah. a blessing too, and thank you. And likewise, anytime mm -hmm. you need me, hit me up. All right, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, take care. Bye bye. All right, you too now. All right. Okay, bye bye. Man, that girl got that thing. You that you can't you can't go to school and learn to do that. You cannot either. God give it to you, or He don't. I don't know why he skipped over me like that and gave me funny. <laughs> I got a little bit of it. I ain't got all that. Jesus, damn. That, that is pure amazement. Mm. God bless the Andrew Jones. Y'all hear the um, cash app uh, uh, cash app about, somebody said I'm about to sow a seed to her right now. Thank you, Lucretia. I think that's how, I don't think I said your name right. Who put that? Oh, that's right, Lucretia. I'm about to say somebody spelled your name wrong. Um. Okay, I see you guys. I see you guys. You're hitting her up. Thank you so much for showing showing her love, um, and let her know that she is appreciated. All right. If you want to know how you should move forward in the eight October October. I know it is the 10th month, but it is also the first or the head of a new period because of the Octo 8, that's new beginning. This Thursday night, this Thursday night, I will have America's Black Prophet of God, your most trusted name in prophecy. He's coming back right here. And you actually can begin to listen to his teachings right now. In about 30 minutes, he's going to be on his 24-hour prophetic revival hotline. I shouldn't say hotline. 
but that's what we used to call it. That's, I'm aging myself. You call 515 604 9266. 515. And I'm going to ask them some questions about Leandra live on air. 515 604 9266. And we pull it from the show and send it to him. He's going to prophesy. He in the prophetic. You know, fast right now and eat nothing. So you call in there. He's always there from 9 a.m. to noon and 9 p.m. to midnight. And then, of course, it's a midnight cry for prayer and intercession. But it's 24 hours. Anytime you want to connect to God, you want to hear teaching or an opportunity to give and sow into Zoe Ministries. And then their prophets will prophesy and speak the word of the Lord to you. So go there and, and call over there on that line or visit bishopjordan.com. He was the one that was prophesying about this pandemic in the 80s and the 90s. Go to bishopjordan.com and download written judgments. And we're going to be doing part, is it 10? 11. 11. Part 11 on October the 1st. On this Thursday night, make sure you're back here. The Church and the Pandemic, part 11. The Church and the Pandemic, part 11. Thank you so much for watching. And let me say this. If you enjoyed tonight, make sure you stop by Cash App and you stop by Venmo. And then send a Zell to info at the mbnnetwork.org or text the word GIVE to 404-800-4530. Or you can go to the website, LarryLive.com, and that goes straight to the MBN Network. In fact, anything you do to the MBN Network is tax deductible. You go to LarryLive.com or you can mail us at 780 Morosco Drive, Northeast, number 244224, Atlanta, Georgia, 30324. Become a patron now. Sign up for the year and you will be grandfathered in before we go into our new space. And in that space, we're going to be doing some phenomenal things. On October the 15th in Patreon only, of the physician that gave us the preventive care for COVID-19 will be back with us only in Patreon. And then next month, we're going to have the therapist back only in Patreon. And that's alongside all of the exclusive lives that we have in there where you're able to talk with me face to face and that's been all sorts of kind of crazy. I'll let y'all look all into my life and into my business. All right. I'm going to let you go. I love you. Wally! And let me remind you this. I don't care how much it look like a nickel, if it's wooden, it ain't gonna spin. Goodbye. Stay connected to Larry Reed Live. Take a moment and like the Facebook page. Subscribe to the YouTube page and hit the bell. Text Larry Reed Live to 33222. That's the words Larry Reed Live, with no spaces, to 33222. And get notified when we go live. Become a member of the Patreon. Log on to LarryReadLive.com, click Patreon, sign up, download the Patreon app, and turn on your notifications. Get connected today.